So I've been called a music nerd long before I was a physical therapist. And let me tell you a quick story. So it was back in 1985 and it was a very hot and humid night in New Orleans. And I was on my way to the Superdome to see Prince. Now this was my first concert and I was a, a young pre-teenager. And boy, I was blown away by what Prince did on stage that night in the Superdome. Even though I was way up in the nosebleed section and he looked like the size of like a ant down there. Oh my gosh, the energy, it was amazing. Um, his performance was amazing. And since then, I've really been hooked. I've been a music nerd since that moment in 1985. Uh, I've seen lots of music since uh, growing up in New Orleans. Um, the rap scene came on strong. You know, got to see lots of great rap artists like LL Cool J, Run DMC, the Beastie Boys, uh, Too Short, Ice Cube, Ice T, all those guys. Lollapalooza came to town a few, t uh, a few times kind of bridge that gap of rap music with alternative grunge. Um, Metallica, Guns N' Roses was huge at the time. I got to see those guys in New Orleans. But then all of a sudden that shift after Lollapalooza was really into Pearl Jam, Alice in Chains, Soundgarden. I got exposed to Tool, uh, Ministry, um, who else? Uh, bands that were just like, who are these guys? Uh, living In Living Color. Um, Cypress Hill was there, all these different uh, rap and alternative bands that led me into this alternative grunge world of the 90s. Then I moved to New Orleans for PT school and in New Orleans I got exposed to all the great New Orleans music like Dr. John, the Meters, the Neville Brothers, uh, you know, prof I didn't see Professor Longhair but got exposed to that, that type of music um, and continuously saw great, great music in New Orleans, great big acts coming in and with that said I then moved on to California, lived in Los Angeles for several years and got to see everybody in Los Angeles because everyone comes to town, small bands, big bands. So saw great venues there. My favorite venues there are the Wiltern. Uh, that place literally rocked and was shaking. The second floor balcony was literally moving like a wave, like it was a freaking earthquake. Uh, crazy. Um, the Greek Theater and the Hollywood Bowl, those would be my top three there. Uh, New Orleans, I forgot to mention my top three there. Uh, in New Orleans, my top three would be Tipitina's. Uh, at that time, when I lived there, the House of Blues and, uh, and, and uh, down uh, in the French Quarter and basically any stage of Jazz Fest, all right? Anything going on at Jazz Fest. Now, let's now move into me moving to Austin, Texas. I've been in Austin, Texas for quite some time. It's the music, live music capital of the world. There we go, thank you, it took me a second. Um, and with that said, I've been here experiencing the music of Austin um, and my top venues, let's go for it. The top venues, and I'm gonna go three down to one. My third favorite venue in Austin is Stubbs. Stubbs is down on Red River in uh, downtown Austin, right near the interstate. One thing I'm gonna say as a physical therapist, Stubbs has this slanted floor, slanted hill down to the stage. So I'm not a fan of standing or dancing on a slant. So I always recommend getting there early and if right next to the soundboard, if you're facing the stage, right next to the soundboard, just to the left, it's flat level ground, it's a wooden deck. So get there early, get on that wooden deck, it's the best view in town of the, uh, in the place, and it's definitely the best place for your back and your legs. There's also a VIP section in the very back that's level, but it's in the very back. So pay a little more to be back there, less crowded, and it's definitely level as well. So I've seen great acts at Stubbs, like My Morning Jacket, uh, Ryan Bingham, the Black Pumas recently. Oh my gosh, they are amazing. Uh, I've seen bands like Korn playing like, you know, 25 reunion tours, uh, but Stubbs is great. And I've seen lots of great stuff there. It is outside. So if you don't, if it's like July in Austin, I don't, I try to stay away from there in that, those times of the month, but uh, in the fall and the spring, oh man, Stubbs is great. All right, my number two venue in Austin is the Paramount Theater on Congress Street. Now, Congress, I'm sorry, the Paramount Theater has been there a long, long time. I don't even know how long, but I'm gonna guess 100 years, maybe more. But the Paramount Theater is fantastic. Now, it's small, it's quaint, it's very, um, it's, it's got a very cool vibe, but it's also very vintage and very uh, ornate. The paintings are, uh, everywhere are incredible. The little balconies uh, sections up close, are, are, the orchestra sections are amazing. Um, but anyway, the music there, the venue, 
the acoustics is fantastic. Now, the first show I saw at the Paramount was Iron and Wine for a fundraiser. And it was a fundraiser for a midwives association in town. And it was amazing. Iron and Wine, this guy Sam Bean with his electric, I'm sorry, his acoustic guitar playing. And that first night I saw him, that first time, I was in the very last seat of the venue, the very top row. And it was still amazing. The sound was amazing. Now I've learned from that point and I didn't wait till the last night, the night before to buy a ticket. And the next four or five times that I saw Sam Bean play there doing that same, um, that same fundraiser, I was within the first three rows and it was amazing. Now I will say this as a physical therapist, I am tall, I'm six two and a half or so, uh, and I am wide. So the seats in the Paramount are small and there's very little leg room. So there's something to throw out at you. And people don't typically stand at the Paramount. I've only been to a handful of shows where people are standing. Most of the time it's pretty sitting and chill. Um, I've also seen some great shows there from Gary Clark Jr. Um, Cheryl Crow, the um, Jimmy Herring, uh, Delbert McClinton, Dr. John, and many, many more. So now we're going to get to my favorite venue in Austin. My number one venue in Austin is ACL Live, the Moody Theater down on 2nd Street or Willie Nelson Street. Now, ACL Live was built not too long ago to replace the venue that was on campus, on UT's campus. Now, ACL Live is where they record the PBS show and has been recording for like 40 something years. Um, Saturday nights, it's been going on for you know decades. That is recorded at the at Moody Theater. So one of the best things you can do about uh, at the Moody Theater, best things you can see at the Moody Theater is the taping. So the tapings are amazing. I've seen Jack White of the Rank of Tears. Uh, I've seen Widespread Panic, uh, Grupo Fantasma. I've seen Ben Harper, uh, Patty Griffin. Uh, and I can't remember any offhand beyond that, but I've seen enough to say uh, it's fantastic. The tapings are great. Now it's also kind of chilled though. So that's kind of, it's, a, it's kind of a weird vibe. It's not very like excited. It's like people are kind of sitting and chilling. Now, ACL Live show that's not a taping. Oh, I've seen tons and tons and tons of great shows there. And again, it's my favorite venue. It has the best sound. Whatever seat you're in, the top of the vet back row, it sounds great. You're really close in no matter where you're at. Now, it is a little steep. Um, it's definitely a little steep, and you got to deal with some stairs if you're dealing with the mezzanine or the top. The mezzanine has the best sound, in my opinion. I love to st sit in the mezzanine or stand in the mezzanine to watch the shows. So that's my... Top three venues in Austin for live music with a little backstory on me, the music nerd. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see y'all soon.